Yeah, Jackie and Johnny, about three hours of testimony inside City Hall, and it really covered everything from public safety to public perception. SEPTA insists it needs this money to improve services for riders and to keep the transit agency moving. For me, it's a step in the right direction. We hear from our constituents about the number one issue, and that's people want to feel safe when they're on SEPTA. At City Hall, crime on SEPTA was a main theme as the transit agency is asking for $117 million from the city of Philadelphia for its next fiscal year budget. Maximizing its police force has been a priority. We are near full headcount, which is allowing um, our police officers to be able to do things that they haven't been able to do over the last few years. They're going to be able to get on buses um, more often. Often. At today's hearing, Harrisburg was also a focus as a law supported by Republican lawmakers would appoint a special prosecutor to handle crimes on SEPTA over Democratic Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner. We're not looking to take you know, any power away from our district attorney. We see it as working to complement um, the work that he's doing and give us some additional resources. Again, we want our employees to feel safe and we want our riders to feel safe. It sounds like you are in favor of a special prosecutor. Prosecutor. If it allows us to go after some of uh, the issues that we're unable uh, to go after. Ramping up cleaning on SEPTA as part of its ongoing efforts to keep and attract riders was part of the discussion. I have to tell you, I'm not convinced. I was at Broad and Alany, um, not recently, but a few months ago, and it was the dirtiest I've ever seen any stop anywhere. Some council members sounded off and raised issues with SEPTA's proposed bus revolution program. It would revamp the bus system, changing routes and times. I've heard some concerns from TWU and others that the bus revolution will impact services. We heard from many council members asking questions about the bus revolution. Do you have concerns that council is not on board with your plans to change routes and change numbers of routes? It's a big deal, right? And change is not easy. I am 100% confident that Bus revolution moving forward is going to make SEPTA better, is going to make this region better. No. Now, in addition to this $117 million that SEPTA is seeking from the city of Philadelphia, it's counting on $161 million coming from Harrisburg. It's been proposed in Governor Josh Shapiro's budget. We'll keep you posted on the developments from city council and from the legislature before the end of this fiscal year in June. Reporting live from outside City Hall, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.